Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and a follow up on iOS 13 beta 5. Now this beta has been released like three days ago. So today I will talk about its performance, battery life, and also we have a few new features of iOS 13 beta 5. Talking about the performance of Beta 5, there's really not much to talk here, Beta 5 is amazing, Beta 4 has also been amazing, the performance has improved a lot since Beta 4, so with Beta 4 and Beta 5, the performance is really really nice, everything is really smooth, opening apps is just like crazy fast, so you will see here, apps that are closed nothing on the background right here you can see how fast they open just instantly the default ios apps will just open instantly just like you had them on the app switcher so overall the performance has been great for me on beta 5 no glitches no like hangs or anything it's really really smooth and a very nice experience hopefully apple will continue doing this and make ios much much smoother again beta 5 is really nice it's very stable and i suggest that anyone that has been holding back from installing ios 13 beta they can go ahead and install it right now because it's really stable and they don't have anything to be afraid of it's really stable it won't ruin your device it is really really awesome so beta 5 extremely stable and very smooth now talking about the battery performance since i was 13 with beta 1 up to now i didn't get any like great battery performance on any of the betas now beta 5 seems to be a bit better of course apple will improve with ba the battery life with the new betas and i can see a slight improvement with beta 5 as far as i have been able to notice until now but really from the beginning from beta 1 of course that's what you get when you install a beta the battery life hasn't been that great of course it's not really terrible but it's not that great as well so with beta 5 i can see a bit of improvement hopefully that will continue with the next betas now moving on to new features of ios 13 beta 5 you will notice on the status bar the location services icon is now much smaller so it has been redesigned and it has a much smaller form when trying to record your screen on ios 13 beta 5 now you will see that the icon here has changed now it won't show you directly the time but it will show you that little recording icon and then it will fade into the time on ios 13 beta 5 now when you 3d touch on the mail icon you will see here on the menu you have your inbox and it will show you right here the number of unread messages if you have any and of course if you don't have it will show you no unread messages if you use siri to send the message on ios 13 beta 5 now it will show you right here under the message sent with siri when setting a new wallpaper on ios 13 beta 5 now you can see how it will look with dark mode enabled so you're on the wallpaper menu right here now before this didn't work but now you can just go ahead and enable the dark mode and without setting it you can see how it looks on the dark mode and you can choose to set it or to cancel from here when you're on the tabs view on safari on landscape mode you will notice that the bar right here at the top is now translucent this used to be black but it has been changed on beta 5. also going to the settings of the keyboard you will notice a change right here we have now delete slide to type by word now this only replaces the delete under slide that has been here before and now it has been renamed also going to the assistive touch menu you will notice here that some of the icons have been redesigned they're bigger now like the notification icon or the control center icon on the assistive touch menu now are bolder or bigger most of them have also been a bit redesigned so that is it for this video guys this is a follow-up video on beta 5 in my experience this has been a great update so i suggest you go ahead and update to it if you're on a lower beta so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one